Hey, it's Cal Forever here. And I just kind of wanted to make something clear to people based on my understanding of how I see this. Is there's been this constant hurt between the Native American people colliding with the European people. And the European people are the ones that represent the divine masculine. They were the flatlanders. Whereas the Native Americans represented Mother Earth, the Divine Feminine. And the Native Americans knew when they danced in a circle around a central fire that they were mimicking what Mother Earth did with Father Son. And so when the Flatlanders came and merged in the straight line, merged with the curved line, it was the merging of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. And so we see these two factors that seem to plague both sides of it. And the Native Americans, majority of them, or maybe not the majority, but a lot of Native Americans have drinking problems. And what do people associate with drinking, especially the white man? Tobacco. Everyone always smokes when they drink, but they don't always drink when they smoke, you know? <laughs> but, uh... So what does tobacco represent? Tobacco is medicine. It is uh, sacred to the Native Americans and definitely been pulled out of that sacredness and made into a recreational drug or, or product or something to get greedy about or to consume or whatever and to get addicted to. Native Americans didn't have addiction to it, but when the white man bred it the way that they did it rolled it up the way they did, they took the sacredness out of it. And that's kind of what masculine, over masculine power does to the feminine. And it was out of balance. But this is a constant plague and it affects both sides. This is, ah, this is a reminder, a constant reminder of that clash of the masculine and feminine. And so when someone's smoking cigarettes and drinking booze, it's because their masculine are, and feminine are either colliding together to balance and align or are either totally falling apart and are wanting to be healed.